Chevy Astro and GMC Safari Hydro Boost Replacement. At this point, the negative battery terminal, airbox, and upper fan shroud have been removed. If you would like to see the removal of those components, check out the first two minutes of this alternator replacement video. Remove the two bolts holding the power steering reservoir and two bolts holding the fuse box. Sucker size 10 millimeter. To access the bolts on the fuse box, press in the tabs on the side and lift up. Use a bungee cord and hold the fuse box away from the work area. Disconnect the three items that go into the Hydro Boost. Two lines, one hose. Two lines, one hose. Move this hose clamp. You might need hose grip pliers to break that bond. The return line on the left takes an 18mm wrench and use a 16mm wrench on the other. Have a drip pan in place and a bunch of rags. Make sure not to spill any power steering fluid onto your belt. We're gonna disconnect the master cylinder from the Hydro Boost. Two nuts hold it in place. What you need to do is to have a 13 millimeter wrench. Hold one side. And then come in with a 15 millimeter to remove that nut. And as you can see, you have plenty of space. This AC line is not getting in the way. On the other side, same deal, hold the stud with the 13 millimeter wrench and you can come from the bottom with a 15 millimeter socket, six inch extension. Makes it much easier. Next, we move on to the driver's footwell area. Follow the push rod that comes from the Hydro Boost. You'll see this retainer securing the brake pedal, push rod and brake switch. Using a flathead screwdriver, you'll wedge it in between this rim and the top clip. You're basically prying open the top portion. Then you push out the retainer. As you can see, it's easy to slip off. Pry up and push. The metal retainer has two half holes. We're basically pushing that rusty rod from the small half to the larger half. With the retainer off, you might need to pry off the push rod and brake switch from the brake pedal assembly. While in this area, use a 15mm socket to remove the four booster mounting nuts. The bottom two are easily accessible. I used a deep socket and a 6 inch extension for the top two. Since we have the upper fan shroud removed, the master cylinder should have no issues disconnecting from the hydro boost. See, plenty of space. It's recommended to use a bungee cord to hold down the master cylinder and to have an assistant help with the removal and replacement of the Hydro Boost. The new unit comes with a warning. It says to reuse the master cylinder push rod, plastic washer, spring, and retainer from the original Hydro Boost. Not to be confused with the push rod that's on the driver's footwell area. The parts are these guys right here. Clean them before transferring. To get them out, line up the retainer with the keyway on the bore. Slide that half up and pry the other end. Make sure you hold the retainer because it can go flying off. The removal of these components is simple, but is the install just as simple? Let's find out. Get the rod in the middle. Yeah, and then just brute force it. And there you go. I'm going to move this a little to the side. And make sure it's nice and springy. I could not find a replacement firewall gasket. But the one that's on there seems to be in good condition, so it's going to be reused. After carefully, carefully setting in the new Hydro Boost, reassemble the brake switch, push rod, and brake pedal assembly. The Hydro Boost push rod goes in between the plastic brake switch. The metal retainer easily snaps into position by just inserting it through the big half of the hole and pulling. The four booster mounting nuts are torqued to 27 foot-pounds. This Hydro Boost comes with replacement O-rings for the two lines. 
This unit faced the 96 to 02 Astro and Safari. The other version faced the 03 to 05 Astro and Safari. It looks like the later version has a much longer accumulator. So, what are you going to do with all that accumulator? The master cylinder mounting nuts are torqued to 27 foot pounds, and the two fittings are torqued to 20 foot pounds if you can. I snug them up, and you got it from here, right? Get the fuse box back on there, reservoir, etc. If you want a more in-depth explanation, Eric the Car Guy has a fantastic video on this same job. If you want to flush the system, DIY with Dave has really, really good info on that. Last part would be bleeding the power steering system. We did not open the master cylinder, so no bleeding the brakes. GM's procedure for bleeding the power steering system is to raise the front wheels, engine not running, then turn the steering wheel lock to lock at least 20 times while having an assistant check the fluid. Once that is satisfactory, start the engine and keep checking the fluid. Lower the front wheels and keep the engine running for two minutes while turning the steering wheel in both directions. And that should do it. See you next time in another Astro Safari video.